Well, close to 600 angry crab fishermen from all per pound. Now it's $1.50. Some fishermen... Years ago, Gordon LaRue took himself off the grid, and he says it's one of the best decisions he's ever made. Concerned about rising energy costs, Mr. LaRue gave up on traditional sources of energy for his home near Stephenville and instead turned to wind power. Today, this three kilowatt wind turbine in his backyard is the only source of electricity he needs. It's the same as if I was on the grid, you know. Same thing, no, no dimming, doesn't matter, you know, even when she's down, uh, if I put all the lights on and all the, you know, the television and uh, maybe the wife is doing some washing, still no different. You know, you, know, you don't see any lowering of uh, the power or anything. Power from the wind turbine is stored in this bank of batteries. It allows Mr. LaRue to have a steady source of electricity, even on those rare occasions when the turbine blades aren't spinning. And even though his home is, in essence, powered by batteries, there's no concerns about draining the cells and being left in the dark. This battery bank alone can service a standard two-bedroom household for about three days without recharging. But recharging hasn't been a problem either. In the two and a half years Mr. LaRue has relied on wind power, he says there hasn't been a day when the turbine isn't spinning. I like to say, I got energy to spare, you know. <laughs> it's always, always air. It's never a day goes by that... Uh, you know, there's no wind. Eh? Uh, you can see today and how the sun is beautiful here. Doesn't seem like it's windy here, but up there it is. Currently, there's only about 100 homes throughout the province relying solely on wind power. So why aren't there more? Jerry Skinner, St. Phillips-based company Labrador Coastal Equipment, installs the wind towers throughout the province. He says people are still skeptical about the relatively new source of energy. There's a certain amount of fear still there. The other thing I think that a lot of people are, are hoping that they're going to hear some someday uh, that some government agency would provide some kind of an incentive. Now, and, and I think a lot of people are waiting for that, you know. The equipment needed to power a standard two-bedroom home using wind costs about $50,000. But Mr. Skinner believes, based on current global energy markets, the system will pay for itself in the long run. Once the initial purchase is made, oil prices and ele electric prices can go where they want to go. You don't even have to worry about it anymore because you're, you're locked in to what you got, free electricity. But is there really that much of a saving switching from oil and standard electricity? Mr. LaRue thinks so. <laughs> I got money in my wallet now. <laughs> For NTV News, Don Bradshaw near Black Duck Siding. Well, hundreds of teachers from across the province will converge on Cornerbrook later this year to assist in the grading of public exams.